What is going on Lucid fans? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I want to share with you some very much abnormal buying that's been happening today and what that might actually mean. Over and above that, I know a lot of people are still very much focused on that rumor, but that aside, thinking about even more so 2023, I just want to share one very big thing with you. So I'm going to go over all the stuff you need to know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So as you can see on the intraday chart, it's been all over the place, had a nice little spike, but it did taper down with the broader market a little bit and shorts took advantage of that. And I'm going to share that with you right now. So short score is currently 91, utilization is 100%, showing 100% of the available shares to short are currently out. But shorts right now, or at least today, did return 3.66 million shares, bringing the grand total to 160.25 million shares being shorted. 24.78 is the official short interest as a percentage of the free float. And for the most part, cost of borrow is 43%, though that has actually dropped quite a lot, I believe. On Friday and Monday, it was around the 100 range. So definitely that uh, really did cause it to go down quite a lot. But beside the point though, there's a lot of big buying that's happening. So I wanna share this with you. So this is the dark pool transactions from today alone. So you do see some abnormal ones, but keep in mind, dark pool is generally for institutions. So you do see a lot of larger volume transactions, but 2.69 million in one transaction is something to keep in mind, 2.02 .02 million. And as you can see, that seems to be all the big ones, but there's a lot of individual ones. Keep in mind, all these are over $100,000 in transactions so definitely very big in that regard but that isn't the icing on the cake what well, the best part is this this is the secondary market so keep in mind anyone here who is watching this assuming you are retail if you want to buy something you are buying it on the secondary market so typically it's a little bit more lower volume because the whole purpose of the dark pool is to eliminate major fluctuations in the secondary market. Of course, because institutions generally have a lot more money. But as you can see on the secondary market, there was $5.85 million in one transaction, $6.39 million in one transaction. And of course, you can always tell by looking at the bid and the ask, these were very much buys, well over even what the ask was. So they were just market buys, very, very optimistic in that regard, but that isn't the best part. 1.9 million and 22.4 million in one transaction. And once again, all of this is buys. So very, very good stuff happening behind the scenes. And keep in mind though, I know a lot of you will say, well, hypothetically, if all these are buys, why is it red? Well, generally speaking, it's a lot more individual single orders that's causing it to go down. Although these definitely do stand out, a lot more individuals are technically just selling. So that's basically how it works. There's clearly a lot more sellers than buyers, but you always do have to take notice of these abnormal ones, such as 22.4 million in one transaction very very good and 2.14 and so this is very abnormal stuff and I don't know who it is maybe it is actually genuinely the PIF behind the scenes trying to accumulate more shares or because of maybe all this additional attention on lucid a lot more institutions are actually seeing lucid for the significant value that it actually is and this did come out a while ago but I just want to share this with you so lucid targets to start production in Saudi Arabia by the end of 2023 and this came out October 26 2022 so a while back and there was a recent podcast that actually came out almost about one week ago that I did have on my other channel financial journey so I'm going to link this in the description below and also in the, the top over there so you guys can watch that it is roughly about 26 minutes ish of Sultan talking but as I even said in this this hands down this 26 minutes is the best aspect of Lucid I have ever heard. You can compile every single piece of PR that Lucid's ever done and throw it in the garbage and just listen to this podcast. This podcast gives so much more information than anything. So definitely this is a very good thing and he actually did reiterate this exact same thing that by the end of the year, this is when they're wanting to assemble errors and having them to start deliveries and he does actually say in this podcast as well that he wants to do it on a global scale so Saudi Arabia is destined to deliver to whoever the hell wants it so very very good stuff going on behind the scenes and on the actual chart though 
looks like technically it is a little bit more consolidation back into the normal zone. So keep in mind, as I always say, unless there's some justifiable reason for it to be outside the Boilinger band, it does get dragged back in. Although if that rumor is very much true and validated, this is just going to go very much high. Of course, until there's a bid, but that's a whole different topic, like I said. But I think right now things are starting to normalize. It is above that 100 day moving average. So it does have to stay above the $11 range. If not, it might have a little bit more of a tentative drop per se. So again, that's just something you need to factor in. But in the grand scheme of things, I think there is a lot more upside to come for Lucid. So I'm actually a little bit more against the PIF wanting to take Lucid private because of that mere fact that I know in the coming years, Lucid is really going to ramp up quite a lot and make all investors a lot of money. But of course, I am not a financial advisor, so do your own due diligence at the end of the day. And with that said, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. If you do like my Lucid content and want to support the channel, take a look at my memberships, link in the description below, or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen. On a side note as well, if there is any other tickers that you guys are looking at, you guys want quick analysis, throw them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to do a quick little summary video on that, and especially if there's enough attention as well. But with with all that said, let's all make a lot of money on Lucid.